Hey, distributors from coast to coast, Stephen Millman here from our office in beautiful Mississauga, Ontario, and we're sharing with you the broadcast message we did yesterday with Jeff Roberti and John Holowati, and I wanted to tee the call up and this rebroadcast up with just a short few words. Unfortunately, we missed my introduction in the recording yesterday, and we missed a couple of words from John Holowati, so when the, when the broadcast starts, which you'll see in a second, that replay starts, um, we'll pick it right up from where John was digging into some of the tools he's talking about, about creating momentum this summer. But I wanted to tee it up just in case there were people out there who uh, weren't real sure what the call was about. We had invited John uh, Halawadi and Jeff Roberti on our call to talk about creating momentum through the summer as we head into these fall conferences. We have conferences happening in Europe, conferences happening here in North America in October, and you know what can we be doing now so that we're rolling into those conferences, accomplishing our goals, hitting our targets, and having the best conference ever. And it was about, the call was set up to be about um, creating momentum now and doing some activity. And I'm really sure you're gonna enjoy all the information that was shared by John and Jeff. For those of you who uh, don't know who John and Jeff are, I don't think there's too many people out there who haven't heard their story or been following their successes. Both these guys have multi-million dollar businesses, Huge organizations underneath them are inspiring thousands of people, mentoring thousands of people uh, to go out and you know help people recognize and realize their dreams uh, by inspiring healthy living around the world. And you know John's built his organization just over the last five six years into a multi million dollar business. And Jeff, of course, has been building his business for almost thirty years uh, throughout Juice Plus worldwide. These guys have massive organizations. The message we got from them yesterday was just incredible. So as I say goodbye, you'll jump right into John sharing his message. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll be doing a follow up call on this call coming soon towards the end of the summer. Thanks, everybody, and bye for now. It might just be a day. It might uh, it might just be a couple of hours in the day to keep the wheels moving. Um, so that's what I would say on that one. The other thing I would suggest is breaking down these daily tasks and actually fitting into your day, this business. People ask me all the time, like, what are your hobbies? And I'm like, like building my business is my hobby. I love it that much. I absolutely love building my business. And, uh, you know, if, if you don't love building it, find out what you love about this business and really, really focus on that because you should all be in love with this business as much as, as, much as we are. Um, that's what I would say on that one. The online clubs is something that I would definitely create. So for the, the summer months, why don't you create an online Facebook group, a summer camp, you know, where you add people into the group and you say, look, this isn't um, a holiday club. This is a motivational group. We're going to stay accountable to each other. We're going to set daily challenges, daily tasks. We're going to reevaluate at the end of each week. And then we're going to see how we can improve on it the following week. And that really worked well last year for a lot of our guys in the UK. Um, I know Emma did a really good group with that um, over the summer months, just getting all the mums in there that were working the group. And, and they had daily tasks. And you know what? If they didn't do the tasks, they were out of the group. It was as simple as that. And that's how you're going to squeeze out those extra orders, that extra momentum, and, and get those promotions for October. Excellent, John. Thanks so much. I love the idea of um, being able to, you know, of course, what we know about this business, building this business, um, using the power of social media, but also, you know, with our mobile devices, you know, uh, the summer's here, you're taking the kids here, you and the family are going there, you're hanging out with the boys or the girls, as you said, and you're able to build this business wherever you go. You know, you're deciding to take a week and go plug in, you know, at a, a cabin in the woods somewhere be able to use this and build this and still be accountable to a group like you said and inspire other people on your team to do the same. There's, there's absolutely no excuses now you know that's the beauty of our business there aren't any excuses technology is on our side and it's like just use it I mean you can be sat on the plane before you take off and before they say put your, your phone in flight mode you can still be chatting in your groups you can still be placing orders and uh, you can still be networking online so it really is a 24-7 business if you've got your Facebook pages and all that stuff rolling as well, you've got an automated business which is working for you and building while you're asleep. That's the great thing about it. So get your systems set up, guys. Get prepared and just go into it. Go into the vacation with the intention that you're going to build your business. And it's a great time to network. What do you normally do on holiday? You meet new people, right? You always meet new people at the bar, at the, you know, in the clubs in the hotels, by the pool. You're always making new friends. So 
it's a great time to go out there and say, you know what, I'm going to go and grow my network with another 20 new people. And another tip, if you're on the plane on your own, sit in the middle seat so you can speak to somebody on the left and someone on the right. <laughs> I love that. They can't go anywhere. You've got them yeah, you can. in your flight. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, John. Um, I appreciate that. Love it. I love the tips that you gave. I think a lot of people get out of that. I really love the idea of a summer camp uh, Facebook group of plugging in, you know, people in your teams and your buddies, your sideline buddies and creating some targets to, you know, hold each other accountable, motivate each other through the summer um, and, you know, create some ideas. Use that as a, as a place to collaborate on ideas about creating momentum for you and your team heading into the fall. Amazing. Thank you very much. That is awesome. And now I'm going to turn it over to um, Jeff Roberti. And for those of you who know Jeff, um, Jeff is, uh, like I said before, been around the business for 30 years, have built this multi-million dollar business. And again, just like John, uh, Jeff too is, is incredible at creating momentum and inspiring others to do the same. And yesterday on our prep call, Jeff was talking a lot about, you know, what is that? What is it going to take for you to continue to work through these months and come into those fall conferences strong and uh, accomplishing your targets and goals? So, Jeff, without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you, Stephen, and uh, thank you, John, and uh, hello, Juice Plus family all across North America, and I imagine all over the world that's tuned into this. It's great how technology works, Stephen, where we can have a Zoom call, and I said, I think you told me you can have up to a thousand lines on this call. So it's it's great that we can reach so many people right in the, the comfort of their home or, or wherever they're at today. So uh, my story is, you know, I've, I've been around a long time. Um, I'm three decades now, 30 years. I started in my early 20s. You know, I was broke, I was hungry, I was dissatisfied. I became a customer first and saw tremendous merit and value in the product. And as a raving fan customer, I found out that there was an opportunity for this average person with an above average desire to go out and earn an above average income. So I went to work on myself. You know, I decided that, you know, John touched on it, you know, all distractions are equal. Well, guess what? All excuses are equal. And I went home and tore up my list of excuses when I started, you know, being too young, not having the experience, not having a higher education, not having any money, you know, all those excuses. And I realized, Jeff, you can make excuses in life or you can make some money, but you can't make both. And, you know, John talked about his hobby is building his business. Well, I believe that long-term relationships equal long-term success. So I kind of joke that I've got two hobbies in the business. One is collecting friends and two is collecting money. You know, as you start to build more friends and more relationship, your, in your income starts to grow. You have a bigger impact on so many people's lives with our product and our opportunity. Your check really is kind of a measuring stick on how many lives you've been able to touch. But, you know, just to, to touch on this, I mean, really, you know, I, I get it. It's summertime. And up in Canada, where you guys are at, it's beautiful weather. And it's a chance for you guys to get out and enjoy the sunshine. And, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's the summertime and vacations and all these distractions and things are going on. But you know what? It's just a question of priorities. I guess the number one question you've got to ask yourself is what do I have to do to make this business a bigger priority in my life. And you know, if you treat this like a business, like a true business, instead of signing up for $50 or whatever the number is on the application in your country to become a representative, to become a distributor, what if it cost you a half a million dollars to become a rep, to have your own personal franchise? How would you treat it then? Would you take the summer off if you had that kind of money laid on the table? So, you know, my attitude is this, you know, it's 80% psychology, mindset, 20% mechanics. And you've got to get to a point where you say, okay, Jeff, I'm willing to step up and take self-responsibility. You know, take self-responsibility for my health, you know, and becoming, uh, living the mission and becoming a product of the product. And the other one is, is taking self-responsibility for my own financial future. So whether it's summertime or Christmas holidays or whatever it is, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to decide how important is this to you? And, you know, one of my, one of my things that I've shared with people over the years 
is in the beginning, especially as you're starting to get your business going, you know, you've got to be willing to say no to some of the things, Stephen, that are really not that important. So you can say yes for the rest of your life to things that are truly important. So, you know, maybe you say no to some of the goofing off or like for me going to the beach or partying with my friends or whatever it was. I was willing to stay focused and stay consistent and stay locked in because I knew if I said no now, I could be able to say yes for the rest of my life. In other words, you could compress an entire lifetime of work in a three to five year plan. So, you know, my attitude is this, if you want to create momentum, if you want to sustain momentum, if you want to advance momentum, the way you do that is consistency, consistency with the paying activities, understanding what your job description is. And that is going out there and telling the story, getting customers, getting distributors, building relationships and doing it consistently over and over again. You know, a few simple disciplines done consistently over and over again equals multiple rewards. If you take the product consistently and you have the discipline, you're going to get the results. You know, I committed the last 60 days to the Transform 30 program and doing the two shakes a day and making some of the lifestyle changes. And wow, what a difference how I look and I feel by doing that consistently. Same thing with the business. If you slack off now in the summer, it's going to take some time to get the momentum going. You know, you've always got those few stolen moments, even if you're on holiday, you know, a couple hours here, a couple hours there. You know, you've got this incredible tool called social media today. You know, you've got, if you're out and you're around people, you know, I make friends no matter where I go. I've had this thing I called the three foot rule. Somebody comes within three feet of you, get off your phone and talk to the person in front of you. Make a connection, you know, build some rapport, start asking some questions. It's easy to go out there and create a warm market no matter where you're at with people that you're around. So here's the key, and John was touching on it and, and talking about you've got to be consistent now and chunk this thing down you know, over the next 90 days, the next 60 days, the next 30 days, what you do each week, what you do each day, and here's how it works. If you get consistent now, July and August, and get that momentum going, and don't let your momentum down, as we roll into September, which is a big month up there in Canada, as you guys know, and then you parlay that into the conference, you know, the big convention that we have coming in St. Louis, the big conferences going on over in Europe and the UK, and all the, the things that are coming up in the fall, now you've got something that's going to set you up with big momentum the last quarter of the year and going into 2017. In other words, if you want to have a great 2017, you got to hit it now and get the momentum going the next 30, 60, 90 days and not let that drop over the summertime. Roll that into the big conventions. We all know what happens at conference. People see the big picture. They have that experience. They're moved emotionally. They want to join the mission. You know, and now all of a sudden you've got this big momentum rolling into the last quarter of the year and they have a huge kickoff for New Year's resolutions. You know, the timing today, Stephen, what I would share with you is this. The timing today is unbelievable what's going on. I'm an example of 30 years and what somebody went to work that first three to five years in North America and then another three to five year plan over in Europe and the residual income that's being paid from that. John's an example of what's relevant today. Just to say in the last five years, what he's created, what's possible today. And every day you miss today, quote me on this, for every day, the timing now, every day you miss this year, next year you have to work five days to equal one of these days. Because of the timing, because of the awareness, because of the tool that we have today. Look, when I built this business, we didn't have all these tools that you guys have. The concepts are the same. We still got paid for telling the story and getting customers and getting distributors and building relationships. But, you know, back then, you know, a three-way call was, hey, the person who introduced me is standing right here and you'd hand them the phone. 
You know, we were excited when we got a fax machine. Now today we're talking to a thousand people on a Zoom call. So the technology today that you have, this thing called social media and the tool that you have allows you to reach more people, to build it bigger and faster and be able to touch so many more lives out there, you know, by using this tool. So my advice to you is this, be willing to say no now so you can say yes for the rest of your life. I'll give you one quick story. I was in Israel last year with uh, some of my team over there in uh, Tel Aviv, and I was talking about this, and there was some young Gen Yers in the room, and you know, they were trying to relate to me when I was in my 20s, and I started my business, and I told them how I worked from eight to faint, and would put in the long hours, get up early, stay up late, you know, would work 20s, 18, 20 hours a day, because I knew it was worth it. I knew someday I could be in the position to do some of those things in life that I always said, if I could, I would. And, you know, I was telling, one of the kids raised his hand and he, he said, you know, Jeff, was it really worth it, the price you paid in the beginning and the sacrifices you made to build this business? Was it, were you, does it really mean that much that you're able to do those things? I said, let me give you a quick story. You tell me. I said, a few years ago, about three, four, five years ago, my mom called me up. My grandmother was in her, in her 90s, and she called me up on the phone in tears and said, Jeffrey, I don't know how to ask you this, but your grandmother's ill, and they want to put her in one of these, these, these homes, and grandma wants to stay in her home. She doesn't want to go there, and I hate to ask. It's very expensive. I said, Mom, stop. Stop. The answer is yes. Absolutely. So I paid for three, four, five years to have my mother with private health care in her home. And it was expensive to do, but I was in the position to do that. And I was in Australia later that year after I had shared that story in Israel with a group. And, and we, I was sharing this story and I had come back home that night from uh, the meeting in Australia. And the phone rang and it was my mother. And she called and she said, your mother passed away just a few hours ago peacefully in her bed with me by her side holding her hand and I can't tell you how much it meant to me and meant to her that she was able to die peacefully in her in her bed here in her home and thank you Jeffrey for doing that and I told the group I said you tell me if it was worth it to be able to say yes and I could give you so many stories so you know you've got an opportunity here to do something great something special to be part of something that is bigger than yourself, to be part of something that is mission-driven, cause-oriented, you know, something where you can make a difference, make an impact, something that's rich in relationships and growth and contribution, a chance to have something that really has true meaning and fulfillment and purpose. So my challenge to you, my call to action, your marching orders is for you to get off this call and step up. Quit making excuses. Quit playing small. You've got a golden ticket here to set yourself up financially for the rest of your life. You know what? It's worth it to stay consistent, to stay focused, to pay, focus on those paying activities. No matter what, whether it's summertime, whether it's vacation, whether it's, the, you know, whatever it is, you stay consistent because you know that you'll be in the position to say yes for the rest of your life. So, Stephen, I want to, first of all, acknowledge you and the leadership that you provide up there, you and the team, for the Canadian operation and the outstanding job you've done and the record business that Canada's had up there. You guys are a true example of what's possible. Of course, John, what you've done is, is you've, you've, you've raised the bar. You've set a new standard for everyone in, the, in our company and showing people what's possible today on a huge level to become a you know, a, a multi-million dollar earner in our company in just a very short period of time and, and inspiring so many other people around the world of what's possible today. And to all of you on the call today that have taken your time to be on this call, whatever level you're playing at, I want to acknowledge all of you. And what we're part of, guys, this, this company with a heart, the, the Juice Plus family, this mission-driven, this purpose-driven company that we're all part of. It's something you can be very proud of and know at the end of the day that you're doing something.
and is making a huge difference, a huge impact on two of the biggest needs in the world, which is people's health, taking self-responsibility for their health, and taking self-responsibility for their own financial future. So, uh, Stephen, I'll turn it back over to you, my friend. Incredible. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, John. I mean, I can't imagine a, a more impactful message uh, as we hit into July in terms of John and, and what you shared about having uh, a game plan, you know, having a, a goal. What I got today was having a goal and a target for heading into that fall conference and then breaking that down into chunks between, you know, now and then. What can I do in these 30-day segments leading into those conferences? And, you know, taking advantage of the time we have now of meeting new people getting to see old friends or wherever our, our summer is going to take us and, and planting those seeds now that, so that when September comes, and as Jeff said, September is always a record-setting month for our business, particularly here in Canada. It's always got big momentum. And then using what we've done over the summer and surging into, and John, as you shared, you know, breaking that down into small attainable goals with you and your group over these next 30-day uh, segments. Jeff, your passion, your enthusiasm gives me goosebumps consistently as I'm sitting and listening. And I mean, and it's that, that's the message. And I'm so glad we captured that on, on, on a video conference. Um, and you can hear it in your voice, but to see it in your face, um, you know, the impact um, that this business can have on those people we love, we care about, and those people we're going to come to meet over this summer and, and into the future. So thank you both for that. John, is there anything else you want to add as well before we, uh, we wrap this call up? You know what? I just want to say, go and do it, guys. Like, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. It really is. I mean, you just heard what Jeff said there about back in the day. And, you know, we've got a gift now with social media. You know, the gift of what an amazing product that we've got, <clears throat> life-changing product, the gift of the opportunity, and the gift of social media. If you combine those three things together, then, you know what? We are the dream team, and that's what you've got to remember. So just go and make it happen. You know, you know, we only get paid for done. And I always have this philosophy of uh, finding the balance between being really grateful for what you've got, but also being really, really ambitious for where you want to go. And uh, that's the impact this, this next 90 days can have, not only on finish off 2016 with a bang and a massive, massive year, but actually going into 2017 to break some more records and take it to another level. So, yeah, I'll leave you with that one. Good luck, everybody, and just, just make it happen. And keep me in the loop. You know, if you've got any questions, Facebook me, whatever. You know, it'd be great to hear some feedback if you're like, you know, John, I'm on day 30 of the thing after the call. I'm doing great. You know, I'd love to hear your feedback. So uh, shoot me a message sometime. That'd be cool. Beautiful. Thank you, John. Very kind of you. Jeff, you as well. Guys, I can't thank you enough for taking time. I know you're really busy, um, but I know today uh, your message landed with so many people, and for that I am so grateful. So thank you both. Thanks, everybody, for dialing in, tuning in, taking time out of your day. Um, set your targets, set your goals, and we'll see you at an event soon. If not, we'll certainly see you at those conferences in the fall. Take care, everybody, and we're over now. Bye for now.